Welcome to Globetrotter. I'm John Haggins. I'm here in Athens at the Acropolis, and this is history. You know, I love the fact that I'm here and I'm learning so much about Greece. Greece is an extraordinary destination. Great food, great people. This is a great place to come to. Stay tuned. Olga Kifaloyani, Minister of Tourism for Greece. Tourism is one of the most important and dynamic sectors of the Greek economy. Hospitality was born in Greece. Everywhere you go in Greece, there is an archaeological site, monuments, museums. We are full of culture. Uh, we preserve and uh, we feel very proud of our heritage. And just a short while from the city center, you can have a dive in the sea because the beach is really near. And the islands are half hour or one hour away. But of course Greece is full of destinations, full of islands. We have 2,000 islands and you will see that each and every one of them is totally different. But it's not just what we have inherited. It's not uh, just our values which are so important for Western civilization. It's not just our traditions. I think that what is most important is that, is that Greece is a modern society with uh, people who are really friendly. Uh, I think that you will find that uh, everybody speaks English and uh, is uh, there to help any visitor, even if they're not really uh, in the tourism sector. The tourist guides, uh, of course, uh, help make uh, the whole experience even more pleasurable and, of course, even more fruitful because they provide all the necessary information. Greece is definitely a destination for all seasons. You will find that uh, the temperature is uh, very moderate even in uh, the winter months. You will find that there are a lot of cultural events throughout the year, not only in Athens but also in other places in Greece. But especially Athens has a very big concert hall and there's now a new development for the new opera and the new library which is going to be near the beach. Uh, we have the open air theater of Irodus Atticus which uh, holds uh, and hosts a festival every summer. And not only is it amazing that uh, runners uh, start their journey from the city center of Athens to Marathon, but they end their uh, journey in the Cali Marvaron Stadium, the marble stadium, which is the modern stadium which uh, hosted the first Olympic Games of modern times. I'm sharing dinner with my friend Pano and his wife, and they selected Malconi's because of its fresh, trendy Greek cuisine that's prepared in a modern fashion. Don't believe everything you hear about Greece, because it's a great destination with lots of history and friendly people. George is showing off his luxury taxi. He was our driver throughout Athens. The Hotel Divani is a smart place to relax, where you can relax by the pool or dine in one of their four-star restaurants. The hotel has three outdoor pools. The Cape of Sunion, the southernmost tip of Attica. This is the Temple of Poseidon. It was built in the 5th century BC, part of the same building program that included the buildings on the Acropolis of Athens. The Cape that was known as the Cape of the Calliums, the Cape that attracted the attention of travelers of the 19th century. Lord Byron himself disembarked and left his signature on one of the pillars. Welcome to a place which feels like the edge of the world and overlooks the beauty of the Aegean Sea. A temple part of the cult of the God of the Sea. People willing to make sure that he is pleased so that they would enjoy safe journeys. Σιγά σιγά 
This is another great day in Athens. I'm here at the Athens Classic Marathon. It's early in the morning, the people are out. It's very, very exciting. This is the Marble Stadium, which is where the first Olympics was held. I'm Nicholas Karahalios. I'm the Secretary General for the Greek National Tourism Organization. And we just finished here with my friend Meletis, with one of the best athletes, young athletes, soccer athletes in Greece. We just finished the mini marathon of the five kilometers. This is uh, an organization that attracts more than 27,000 participants. Around 5,000 are coming from abroad. It's a classical route, meaning that athletes run the 42.7 kilometers that Pheidippides, back uh, dating 2,500 years ago, when the Greeks won over the Persians in the Battle of Marathon, uh, came to Athens to announce uh, the victory to the Athenians of the times saying the word Nenikikamen, we won, and then he died in this very spot where people right now do uh, the marathon. This is celebrated all around the world. The difference is that this is the classical route. It's supposed to be, and it is the most difficult route of all times, because most of it is uphill. Marathon is at the sea, and Athens, here the center of Athens, where athletes uh, have uh, the, uh, the, the end of the marathon, we have something like five, four to 500 meters, meaning that it's a very difficult route. That's why world records are not broken here. Only feet and hearts are broken here. The marathon is an exciting experience. Whoever has run and has done the route feels so proud when he finishes here. This is the Olympic Stadium that was used back in 1896 when the first Olympics of modern history were held. It has a capacity of 96,000 people. Greek cuisine is always freshly prepared. The restaurants are plentiful, offering local cuisine. Welcome to the New Acropolis Museum, a museum that opened the 20th of June of 2009 after a long time of dreams of building a museum that would be appropriate for the exhibition of masterpieces of sculpture. The New Acropolis Museum, situated in the area of Macriani on the southern part of the Acropolis, more than half of the building is based on pillars so that they could continue with the excavations ruins of the ancient Greek world from the 5th century BC until the 8th century AD are below. The first introducing to uh, the uh, Acropolis itself with a number of models and uh, exhibiting pottery that uh, relates uh, with the sanctuaries on the southern slopes of the Acropolis as well as everything that was found underneath. The second level, the archaic collection Everything that was uh, excavated on the Acropolis relating with the pre-Parthenons, the, the Ekatombedos, the old temple, and beautiful statues of medans that were dedicated by the Athenians willing to honor their patron goddess. Beautiful, archaic, early monumental statues with the didalic eyes and the archaic smile are there, placed exactly like they would have been on the rocky hill in a spacious room with the sun shining through all these glass because that's the basic material of the museum. They give the impression that once again you're walking on the rocky hill and once again you're looking as they pilgrims did in the, in the antiquity. And the third level of the museum, the so-called Parthenon Gallery, is the highlight. This is another Parthenon, a little bit different orientated compared to the other levels. Parthenon Gallery introduces us to the completion of a perfect building. I'm standing in front of the one metopus of the southern part of the Parthenon that would describe the legendary battles of the ancient Greek mythology. So the giants against the gods, the Amazons against the Athenians, the Trojan War and the centaurs, half horses, half men. They are fighting against the Lapithes. You see, they were invi invited in a wedding reception and they got completely drunk and decided to grab the ladies and leave the party. So that's what the fight is all about. The 92 Metopes is the legendary battles and then on the short side, the pediments that describe the most legendary moments of the mythology. One is the birth of Athena from the head of Zeus and this is the Eastern pediment. 
The most beautiful, the most important part of the decoration is the frieze of the Parthenon. It's a procession. It's the most celebrated day. All the citizens of Athens would march with dignity from the gate of Athens, the Dipilon, to come all the way to the Acropolis as to bring the new dress for the statue of Athena, for the wooden statue of Athena, the Xoano. So there is a procession. One group of people starts from the northern, western corner of the frieze and goes one way, and there is another group going the other way. So they both meet on the eastern side where the peplos, the new dress for the, the statue of Athena, is given. So this is the new Acropolis Museum. It's absolutely an answer that we do have a wonderful museum to give hospitality to every part of the statues that have been moved and taken away from the country. The plan is, if possible, to bring everything back. And the light can go through the glasses and uh, people can have the feeling that the Acropolis is there and they are standing again, once again, on the rocky hill. Now, this is a bit of history right in the middle of the city. It's the Ark of Hadrian. Welcome to the Sovetel Athens Airport. My name is George Stavro. I'm the director of sales and marketing of this hotel. Uh, this Sovetel Athens Airport, which is uh, the sole hotel, airport hotel we have in Greece and in Athens, uh, we are here for 10 years now since the beginning of the operation of the uh, Athens Airport and we offer a complete service, a complete service with two restaurants, two bars, and banquet facilities for Congress up to 350 persons. As you can see, we are in a very convenient place at the, at the airport, just in front of the main terminal building of 50 meters. It's an accommodation here and an experience of accommodation without stress. Without any stress, you forget that you are in the airport, and you can enjoy all our services, the bars, the restaurant, and also in the upper floor, you can have the swimming pool, the spa, and the massage in order to relax. Now, the main convenience of this, of this hotel is for short stays, either to visit the city or passing by Athens uh, to visit the island. Athens International Airport is a very modern facility that offers a very special treat. It has an Acropolis Museum on the second level. Μου λείπει ένα βλέμμα σου Μου λείπει ένα βλέμμα σου Μια αγκαλιά, ένα χάδι There's nothing more wonderful than Greece. We've had an extraordinary experience throughout Athens, as a matter of fact, and this is the coastline. You know, there's so many beaches, there's so many museums, there's so many wonderful people. This is a great place to come, and in spite of what you hear on the news, forget about it. This is sensational. My world is your world. So remember, get up, get out, and travel! Athens is a vibrant cosmopolitan city with lots of history and activities. Look forward to seeing you next week at another great destination around the world. So long for now.